my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 183 in this lecture we will try to understand assumptions about error term we will also introduce testing for significance in my previous lecture that is in lecture number 182 we discussed about r square value there is another name for r square value is coefficient of determination now there is another important point is assumptions about error term e let me say e is my error term here to test the goodness of the model not only r square is important you have to plot the error term this is also important plotting the error term not only r square value or not only coefficient of determination value you must also plot the plotting the let me say plotting the error term that error term e is e i must plot this error term e isn't it when you look at the error term you have to look at the behavior of the error what is error error is nothing but actual value let me say av means actual value minus pv predicted value so what is the assumption of error term the error e is a random variable with the mean equal to 0 what does it mean let me say like this Just see this one. The error term e is a random variable with the mean of zero. Error has to be has to be appear in a random manner where the sum of positive error must be sum of positive error should be equal to sum of negative error so that the sum will be zero. I can say like this. Let me say like this. for your model for your model for your model to be unbiased let me say like this for your model to be unbiased to be unbiased the average value here this value is important for me the average the average value of the error term whose average value average value of the error term error term must be equal to 0 this is this this point this is assumption must be equal to equal to 0 this is one of the important assumption about the error term now we will try to understand variance the variance of e e means error term the variance of e is denoted by e square e same for all values of the independent variable so that concept so that concept is called homocidacity let me say that concept homo homocidacity i can say like this elasticity yes this what is this what what does it mean uh, i can say uh, variance let me say the variance uh, e square is same for all values of the independent variables let me say x1 is one independent variable x2 is another independent variable so on xn there are n independent variables therefore what can i say your variance of x1 must be equal to variance of x2 so on variance of xn xn all these independent variables must be same that is that is second assumption isn't it then only if variance is same whose variance independent variable if independent variables variance is same then i can say then only there is a meaning for comparison otherwise the variance of the error should be the same i can say variance of the error should be the same then only there is a meaning for comparison the values of e are independent e means what error values must be independent there should not be 
any pattern in the error term. This point is important. There should not be any pattern in the error term. Sometimes what will happen if you plot the error term, there may be increasing trend. Your error may be an increasing trend. Your error, if I plot error term, you must not get like this. There may be decreasing trend. There may be decreasing trend, isn't it? That, that's what it says. Your error, uh, the, there should not be any pattern in the error term. Sometime, what will happen if you plot the error term, there may be increasing trend like this or there may be decreasing trend like this. This type of pattern is not allowed. Error term has to, has to be distributed randomly. Another assumption, another assumption is your error term E is normally distributed random variable. These are more, these are basic assumptions, important assumptions of error term. Now, uh, testing for significance. What is this testing for significance? We will try to understand. Whatever the regression equation and, and goodness of the model, whichever, whichever uh, your test is for the sample, the data, let me say, uh, let me say like this, to test for a significance, uh, just let me write otherwise, uh, let me say my Y cap, this is model for my sample B0 B plus B1X, let me say like this. What is the sample data? For sample data, we have got this particular relation. Now, we are going to see whether this sample model is valid at a population level. At population level, my model is beta y equal to beta naught plus beta 1x. Whether this sample model is valid for population model. This is my sample model, like this, this is known as sample model. Which one is population model? Y equal to capital Y equal to beta naught plus B1X, this, beta 1X. This is, I can say, population at, at, at population level. I can say this is population model, isn't it? Now, for that purpose, we are going to do some assumptions. We will see what is the assumption. Assumption means hypothesis. What is the assumption is to test for significant regression relationship. What is our intention? Let me say like this to test to test for a significant to test for a significant regression regression relationship isn't it relationship to test for a significant regression relationship we must conduct hypothesis test to determine whether the value of beta 1 is 0 isn't it what is the, the, this is the model which one y equal to beta naught plus beta 1. This is model at population. Now you must test whether beta 1 is 0. What will happen if beta 1 equal 0? What, what will happen if beta 1 equal 0? Yes, yes. If beta 1 equal to 0, let me say uh, our model is, let me write it otherwise, y equal to beta naught plus beta 1x. This, this is crucial. Beta 1 slope is important for us. What will happen if beta 1 equal to 0? There is no relationship between x and y, isn't it? In that case, if you substitute here, what will you get? y equal to beta naught means y equal to constant means what? A line parallel to x axis. There is no relationship between x and y. If your beta 1 equal 0, there is no relationship between x and y at the population level. Why? Because beta naught and beta 1 is at, at the population level. But there is a possibility that there may be relationship between x and y at sample data. So, so the testing can be done by two methods. One is t-test and, uh, and another one is f-test. Both t-test 
and F test require estimation of S square. This S square is called the variance of the error. Otherwise, if you say capital S, just say S, it is standard error. In my next lecture, we will try to understand this F test and T test. Thank you very much.